Hello everyone and welcome to day one of Premiere Week. This is Cinnamon Stitches and I'm your host, your yarn host, Jennifer. Now, I'm going to try to get through as many of these videos as I can today because my voice is horribly... <laughs> I am suffering from the COVID right now, but we're gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a fun, fantastic week. My intro videos to all the videos, however, I'm gonna try to sound better than this as we go along. I have my big bottle of water to get through this. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right. So premiere week. What is premiere week? I've already discussed this. We also have a shopping list that I aired on Piao, which was Thursday. Now. The things that you need for this upcoming week in case you want to make any of the really cute things that we're making this week. Premiere week is a week-long adventure of me showing you my favorite Premiere yarns. And, well, some of my Premiere yarns, I have a lot of favorites. Now, um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you the things that we're going to make. I still cannot show you the tank top because it's not finished. I'm still working on it. I'm grinding my fingers to the bones, even today, trying to get the tank top finished. Finish the tutorial for Wednesday, because there is a new yarn that is coming to Premiere Yarns during Premiere Week, which is fantastic. It is beautiful. You guys are going to love it, and I'm so excited. And the tank top is turning out super cute, and I cannot wait to wear it. So tune in Wednesday for certain for the new yarn being unveiled and the tank top that is coming out and the tutorial for the, the yarn. I'm super excited. Um, it's turning out really good. The tank top is designed by yours truly. This sweater, which will be Friday, which will be like the grand finale project, is um, a Premier Yarns pattern that we just recreated in tutorial form. And isn't it so cute? <laughs> it's so cute. So let's get down to it. Five, the next five days, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, we are going to, every day, come on, I'm going to show you a yarn from Premier Yarns. We are going to feature that yarn for the day and make a project with that yarn. This is day one. This is a super cute headband, easy tutorial. Um, you can make this in probably half an hour, no time at all. Um, we are using the Cotton Boutique for the headband because it gives a beautiful like there's lots of colors so it's going to be a nice colorful headband so the cotton boutique makes the headband for day one at least i think it's day one i did write all this down and it's buried under the projects that are on the desk for premier week <laughs> so it's good it's all good so one skein of the cotton boutique will make you several headbands um, but this is on sale right now it is on sale for two dollars and 49 cents and it is a really good deal so i would snatch up I would snatch up quite a few colors if you like cotton yarn it's 100 percent cotton and you can make more than just a headband you can make a matching shirt to go with it you know <laughs> so we're going to feature cotton batik day one with this cute headband day two which will be tuesday is going to be these were these don't have the ends weaved in but we're not surprised by that at all these were um i did a little poll in my YouTube members. I let them pick a pattern. I asked them what tutorial do they want to see and more than anything I got requested to make fingerless mitts or fingerless gloves and so Tuesday is going to be these cute little things. They are super cute. These are made with <laughs> that anti-pilling everyday medley on sale for a dollar ninety nine. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was super excited. I was like, "Oh, that's a really good price." This is anti-pilling acrylic. This is super soft. This is not going to pill. This works up beautiful, and it comes in these gorgeous colors. So this is the color Forest, which I made these gloves out of. Are these not cute? These are totally giving me eighties Madonna vibes. <laughs> but um, they also have this beautiful color. This is. The color Blue Heather, which I made these out of. <laughs> Let me show you. I had a lot of fun making these. These also are a really easy, quick project. Um, depending on how fast you crochet, these are under an hour for both gloves. We're going to pretend we don't see the ends that I have not weaved in yet, because I'm terrible at that. So 
We have the blue. <laughs> are these not cute? So these are the blue Heather, which I'm totally digging this color right now. And they almost match my sweater, but not quite. Are these not adorable? So, we have the members mitts. The members picked out this design. So that is day two. So now, right off the bat, we're doing fantastic because we got two yarns that are on a serious deal right now. $2.49 and $1.99 for the medley. Yes, please. Um, next. What's next? I think Wednesday, which is day three, will be the secret tank top that's living in this bag. I'm going to give you a little peeksy. <laughs> a little peeksy. Okay, there's a strap. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> like I said, that's not finished yet. I wanted it to be finished by today. It is not. But that's going to be a tank top. It is going to be um, kind of handkerchief style. So it's fitted around the bust. And then it flows out a little bit around the waist. Because that is my favorite style of shirt. My, I'm moving too much. My shirt is moving on me. It's like... <laughs> can't stand anything touching my throat so it's fine it's fine um so that is going to take the new yarn from premier yarns and by the time the tutorial is finished um i will have the amount of balls and what kind of yarn you need the new yarn we're unveiling to complete that because i i obviously don't have the numbers yet because i'm not finished making the shirt i'm almost done with the tank top i'm almost i got maybe four more hours to go um, I'm just adding length to the bottom at this point and it's so beautiful and I'm so excited I kept putting it on yesterday and taking pictures like halfway through and I was showing Juju and at one point because I just had just the bust done I was like this would be a really cute crop top and then Juju's like that is really cute and so then I was like I started working on the bottom part and I was like this is a really cute shirt <laughs> so I'm super excited about that um Next, Thursday. Okay, Thursday we have <coughs> a blanket. This was requested by a lot of you because I made several of these blankets and we're calling this Jacob's Granny Blanket. And the reason we are is because it's a granny chevron, but it also has Jacob's Ladder on it. And I designed this blanket myself. The tutorial is a little bit rough because I was filming it in the midst of being really not feeling well and my brain was having a hard time but we did get through the we did get through it <laughs> we got through it I made a mistake on my own blanket but I fixed it before I had to refilm this tutorial just the beginning part eight times because my brain was not understanding and I'm the one that wrote the pattern I'm the one that designed the blanket <laughs> not that it's a hard path it's not hard it's so easy it's so easy but my math my math was like I just could not and then finally I'm like okay like I actually looked at my notes and then I was like oh that's what I was doing wrong <laughs> I thought I remembered it enough because I made like three or four of these blankets and I didn't so this is made with premier serenity chunky this is made with several different colors and I am so in love. I'm so in love with this blanket. I love it. It is not a very large blanket, but I do tell you how to make it bigger than this. This is 47 inches square, so it's 47 by 47. It's just a small little, I'm going on your legs on the couch blanket. Um, I could have made it bigger. You guys can absolutely make it bigger, um, but I didn't need a much bigger blanket. I wanted something small, and I just think this is so pretty. This is going to go over the back of the couch over the back of a chair or on the end of my bed I just think this is so pretty and the colors I used like <laughs> I had so much fun with the colors um here's the design with the see the Jacob's ladder is on the bottom part of the V of the chevron so what I used was serenity chunky I used large balls and I used small balls combined to make 47 inch square blanket, 47 by 47. I used the equivalent of four of the large balls, which, what did I do with them? I know, they're under the desk. They're right here, right here. <laughs> I used the equivalent of four of these balls, which these have been on clearance. The three packs have been on clearance. Right now, I think this is the only color that they have left. 
and they have the three packs for $18. This is the equivalent of nine of these. The three pack is the equivalent of nine of these. Each big ball is the equivalent of three of the smaller balls, and they're all the, ch the Serenity Chunky. Now, I had a bunch of black. I had a bunch of small black balls. I had a giant white ball, like this size. I had these in the color Bluebird is the one that I used for the blanket. And then I used one of the new Serenity Chunky Candies. And I love the combination of colors with this. Like, I had so much fun. The main part of the blanket, the one, the color I use the most of is the big giant ball of white. So there's more white in the blanket than there is anything else. So I used an entire big ball of the white. I used, I don't remember the exact number I used. I think I used three of these in the blue. I used three in the black. And then I used one of the the candy, which is, this one is the color daisies. So the Serenity candy and the color daisies I used. I used a slightly more of this ball because I ran out. But it's just because I had it on hand. If I didn't have any on hand, I would have just put it in a different color. So that is this blanket. So to make a 47 inch square blanket, you need the equivalent of four of these. And if you do the math, if you want to mix the small balls with the bigger balls, it, you can divide each one of the big balls into three and use three of the smaller balls, which are also on sale. And they have a lot more colors in the smaller balls. And I think the smaller balls are in sale three pack for, I think it's a three pack for nine. Let me double check because I don't want to quote that wrong. Yarn, nope, sale, bag deals. Yeah, three for nine dollars for the smaller balls. So, and then, is that it for, I think that's it for that. And then the sweater, so this is Serenity Chunky. All of these yarns can be purchased by using my affiliate link below um, if you still haven't purchased your yarn. Also, if you want to wait and watch the tutorials and watch the videos and decide at the end of the week which yarns you want to purchase for which project or whatever, you can do that too. Uh, a lot of people wanted to get a jump start and make the things along with me, which I totally understand, which is why I made the shopping list last week because I was requested time and time again, can you please let us know ahead of time? Um, it's not always easy for me to let you know ahead of time because I'm still working on some of the projects. <laughs> Like, the tank top, I'm not finished yet, so I don't know how many balls of that I'm going to need by the time the shirt is over with. So, yeah, I love this blanket so much. Now, this blanket was giving me Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland vibes, because the black and the white remind me of, like, checkerboard floors from, like, the Queen's Castle. And I don't know if I'm remembering that from the Alice in Wonderland cartoon or if I'm remembering that from the video game that we used to play. Me and the kids used to play, um, I think it was Kingdom Hearts. And, like, the floor was checkerboard, so it was white and black checkerboard. And then Alice's dress is blue. I mean, it's not the right color blue, but then when you added in the daisy colorway, it was giving me Mad Hatter, like, Johnny Depp Mad Hatter vibes. <laughs> and so I was like, this just, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Especially since I did not, I didn't plan out the colors. I just went with what color I wanted to do next. So there's like spots where there's more blue or spots where there's more white. Or like, you know, I just had fun with it. And I really, really like this blanket. Alright, and last but not least, the piece de resistance. The final project <laughs> that I love so much is this sweater. This sweater is a pattern from Premier Yarns. It is the Granny Pullover. It is a free pattern on Premier website, Premier Yarns website. This will be linked below the tutorial for this because I encourage you, even if you think you can't read patterns or you have a hard time reading patterns, right, get the get the pattern, keep it close by. Keep it on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever. Or print it out like I, I had to go to Kinko's because my printer don't work. <laughs> it's up there for show. It, it don't work. So I went to Kinko's and I printed this off so that I could have it so I could write notes as I'm 
tutorializing y'all and um I encourage you to also download the pattern so you can follow along even if you can't read patterns this is how I learned to read patterns is by following a tutorial with a written pattern and I learned to read the patterns that way so that I understood what was happening because I'm watching it on the screen while I'm reading along with the pattern and this was a lot of fun to make I made a size bigger than what I needed I I should have and I wear a size 3x I was a 4x a couple months ago I've lost 35 pounds recently I am now 3x but I made the 4x because I wanted I wanted a baggy sweater I wanted it to be comfortable I didn't want it to be tight anywhere I wanted it to be nice and loose because that's how I like to wear my sweaters I liked it to be easily removable you know because I get hot really quick and yeah so the, the pattern the stitch it calls for the stitch please yarn which is a wool um, I didn't want to use the wool I didn't want to use the stitch please I wanted to use the premier basics so I used the Premier Basics in the color light gray and I used five balls for the main part of the shirt. Now this shirt is just a big granny square. It's just a big granny square. <laughs> There's two granny squares. For the size 2X to 5X I think it is, we add a couple of rows along the edge for width so that we're not making it grow longer and then they added a couple of rows along the shoulders. It's so easy. It's it's it sounds intimidating but it was not I followed the directions very easily the tutorial will make it even easier for you guys because I show you where to mark it and where to add the the increases I chose to only make three quarter length sleeves because I don't like long sleeves I get hot ear very easily I've already said this I get hot very easily you can make them longer so for the body of the shirt for a size 4x I used five balls of the Premier Basics, which is really nice basic acrylic. It is not expensive. Um, let me double check the price on this as of right now. It is $3.79, which is cheaper than a lot of other basic acrylics and I really really enjoy working with the basics but for the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt <laughs> I this is my own doing and this color pop here is my own doing this was not part of the pattern but I wanted a little bit of extra length because I am a tall person and I am very long bodied so I chose to add and I like the color at the bottom I added a little bit of extra color at the bottom as well for the sleeves I needed two balls of the sweet roll vivid this pattern calls for color changing like those are five different color balls of yarn but I opted instead in using a cake that auto changed because like it's less work and it gives you the color pop still <laughs> and I'm all about ease right so two balls of this and honestly if you don't like the the vivid the neon colors you want a toned down color or a more pastel -y color or anything like that you can use any of the sweet rolls any of the sweet rolls will give you this effect will give you this design on your sleeves so just two of those and the reason we need two of these is because we had to color control a little bit so that our sleeves match which was not hard to do I show you how to do that in the tutorial as well and yeah it's just it's an easy it looks complicated because it's a big old sweater it could not have been easier as a matter of fact I want to make another one of these and maybe a DK weight yarn and I think after what I learned from following the pattern and following this I think that I could convert this pattern very easily into a DK weight or thinner if I wanted to make a lighter weight sweater for myself in the future when I have the time <laughs> so that is what we are going to have featured for this week in Premier Weeks. The links for all of the yarns be are below. The link for the pattern for the sweater is linked below. They are affiliate links. That means I earn a small percentage back of your purchase if you purchase these yarns. Of course, if you want to participate with Premier Weeks and you just cannot 
purchase yarn right now, you can substitute equal yarns that you have already in your stash. There's no pressure here at all. Um, I do this to A, bring awareness to Premier Yarns because I have gotten so many comments from people to say I didn't know about Premier Yarns or I've never even heard of Premier Yarns until you. And so I like to bring my favorite yarn company right to the front in the spotlight where it belongs because I really like Premier Yarns. The yarn is fantastic and I've really enjoyed working with the company. I have had amazing experiences with the companies. They've been, um, Premier Yarns has been incredibly supportive with me and um, I just, I appreciate the company. I've really enjoyed working with them over the past couple of years. This is our third year doing Premier Week and every year it gets more and more like involved <laughs> Like, I make bigger and better projects every year, and um, I just really enjoy the whole process. And you can go back. There are playlists for premiere weeks of other projects, of other patterns, of other premiere yarns. And there's a whole playlist for those and in case, you know, you want to look for something else to make as well. We can keep on making the, the things together. Uh, the reason I really like doing premiere week most aside from spotlighting my favorite yarn, is I get to make things with you guys. I don't do crochet alongs, I don't do knit alongs, I don't participate in a lot of those kind of things because I'm a busy person and I just don't have time and I know that I don't have the commitment to do long term <laughs> crochet alongs and all that. <coughs> so this is my way to get my people, all of you lovely people, joined in a project with me together it creates a greater sense of community it brings us all closer together because we're making things at the same time and i just really want to give back to you guys and give back to my community and um show you guys how much i appreciate you guys being here through even the like the ragged voice <laughs> all right so i will see you guys tomorrow for day one of the tutorials stay tuned you will see the beautiful headband tomorrow and then um this week's going to be a lot of fun. Leave me lots of comments and love. If you make any of these projects, please post them on the social medias and tag me. You can tag me by using the at sign, which is the A with the circle-y thing, and then Cinnamon Stitches, and that is my name on Instagram, Facebook. Like You can, you can at sign me or hashtag Cinnamon Stitches, and I will see it. The best way for me to see it is to post it on Instagram or in my Facebook group. But you can also email me. I'm cinnamon stitches at g cinnamon stitches seventy nine at gmail dot com. You can also email me your photographs. I love seeing what you guys are doing. Um, if you have a a podcast, if you have a channel, I would love for you to tag me in a video. That would be fantastic. Um, I just really appreciate the support and you guys showing me what you guys are working on. It br it brings us all together. So with that, I'm gonna let you go and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.